now it is mid-September. So that means it's almost peak for uh, spring Chinook salmon. And uh, so far I've gotten a few springs and a uh, few jacks and actually one coho. And it's actually, compared to last year, it's actually, um, it's been a pretty slow year so far. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of fish uh, rolling in or coming in pretty quickly here. I got a new package in the mail and it is a lot of beads <laughs> from uh, Clear Jiff Tackles. And uh, yeah, I've been using them for a while and they're just a local company. And today I'll be targeting for Chinook after work. Although row works absolutely great, not everybody has access to them, or at least in the beginning of the season. And uh, it's a lot more cleaner using beads. And uh, yeah, row's great, but <laughs> beads are great too in certain uh, situation and actually a lot of most situations. So hopefully I can prove that today for you guys. Deep hill. Let me enter the fishing run. There's actually a lot of people at the parking lot. Here we are, the first spot. So whenever I come to a run, I have not fished this run before this year. So this is kind of new to me. It definitely changed over the years, but you can see the current. And my guess would be spring would be sitting around there or maybe over there and there's actually a big branch that's underneath the water there so it could be risky fishing here but if there's branches like a cover it's usually a good sign that a spring might be there so you might have to risk your uh your uh hooks and stuff so make sure you guys uh make sure you tie a lot of uh extra leaders in my pick is this orange bead uh, it's a 12 mil and I hook it just like this right on the hook and I had pretty good success let's say so uh, we'll try to figure out the depth and uh, adjust as we go can't really see where the snag is but I guess we'll figure it out once we uh, I'm just bouncing on the bottom so you know it's deep. Just gotta adjust the float up a bit. We'll try this and see if our uh, float bobs or not. If it doesn't, then it's a good, it's a good depth. Now we're, now we're good. It's not bobbing on the bottom. You don't want that, so. There's definitely a fish in there. This run looks too good to have no fish in it. But I'll probably move after uh, 50 minutes or so. If I toss my row in there, it might work, but don't feel like it. <laughs> All right, we'll move on to the next run. It's been about 15 minutes. Probably way too short, but there's no one around, so I'll fish a different area here. Let's go. Ooh, got into this spot here. That looks way too fishy. Behind that branch that's sticking out, Probably around right there. I bet you there's a fish in there. Maybe up top there too, but that one, I can almost guarantee there's gonna be a fish. I think, <laughs> we'll find out here. I also have a feeling that I might lose my setup here. I'm gonna fish this run. Lots of snag. Got snagged already. Looking like a really short drift, unless I cast on the other side. Uh, it's a very hard cast. Get it just under there. Oh. Ah. Told ya. There's definitely a fish, but lost all my setup. That's why you tie lots of leaders so you can just switch it right away. Okay. Too much snags there, so. <laughs> Here we are, even lower. Oh, there's a deep spot. See, sometimes just walking on the river helps. I don't see much snags down there, so that's good. <laughs> Won't be losing a lot of gear here. Hopefully not. Oh yeah, I see a fish. I see a fish right there. <laughs> Believe it or not, I see a fish. <laughs> Oh, it's funny. 
right against that uh, snag. I see it. I see one at least. Some people wonder how people can see a fish in the water, but I definitely see it. I'll change up the bead if this one doesn't work. I think we might get a fish out of here, guys. Or at least one of the runs. There's one. There's one. I freaking knew it. Oh, yeah. That's the spring. Come on. It just dropped hard. Oh yeah, I knew there was a fish because I could see it and there's under the logs there. It's just really tricky right now. It's trying to get under. Once it goes under, I'm done. There's no going back here. Oh, it's a fresh one too. You can tell by the head shake. Hey? Yeah. Oh, that net might be too small. <laughs> you wanna try netting it? Sure. Uh, I'll bring it to you. It's just gonna go down there. Uh, don't grab the line. I can land it. Yeah, it's pretty strong. So. Yeah, it's a nice one. You ever catch one before? No, I caught a little one. Yeah, a little one. <laughs> yeah, you can't you can't keep chumps. You can only keep uh, springs and coho. Just Google it. And we want to keep these guys in the water too, right? Yeah. You don't want to like drag it onto the rocks. Oh, uh, you could. Here, why don't you reel it in? Huh? Why don't you reel it in? You sure? Yeah, if I lose, I don't care. Oh, hold on. Here. Yeah. But this one's different, right? Yeah. So, so there's no drag. So if it goes, you're gonna go. just have your hand. Gotcha. <clears throat> oh, that's a spring. What is it? Uh, stop reeling and then just walk back slowly. If he runs, ah, uh, let the line out, let the line out. Oh, it's a spring. We can keep that one. Yep. Can we keep it? Huh? Can we keep it? Yeah. Beautiful spring, it's a female. It's a beautiful spring. Nice female. Very fresh. That's really cool, yeah. Yeah, it's really big. <coughs> so you want to grab a knife after your catch. And then you go through the gills. Yeah, like cut the gill across. You get the blood out. And you can't cut the head off on the river. You can only gut it. Oh, okay. You gotta keep all the fish intact. Yeah. I got a tag for salmon. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, salmon, yeah. Yeah, salmon, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you have your fresh water and your salmon tag, oh, yeah. you're good okay. to keep uh, yes. 10, 10, per, uh, 10 per year. Okay, okay. Next time, just write it. Uh, you need like a paper uh -huh. to write it down, but if you have it, okay. but next time, just print it out. And, because they ask you, right? When the, there are lots of people going around right now. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, they, I did get a paper. <coughs> so if you yeah. keep that. Yeah, so if you keep springs, mm -hmm. which is this guy, Chinook. Yeah. You, have to uh, you gotta, paper. yeah, you can keep 10 a year. Okay. All right. That is just a gorgeous dough. Nice and chromey. And uh, you fit the uh, bead. It's a straight on bead from Clear Drift Tackle. Got the malted orange. Beautiful fish. So it was these, um, what is it? 12 mil glazed soft feed, deep orange. I just had it straight to my hook. 
and uh, got a nice uh, Chinook salmon. Works perfectly good. Love the color in this thing. Nice and bright. I, I knew I could have got a fish out of there because I could see a couple under the logs. It's a little risky, but uh, lots of questions from the new guys. But I try to help them and uh, make sure they have their license and how to properly gear up because it does go a long way once you kind of tell them. So I'm going to help them out, get them set up, and hopefully they get one too. It'll be good to see. But yeah, straight bead bites. Beads work. Tougher in the daytime, but they do work. Okay, so if you made it this far, thanks for watching and let's talk about beads. So what beads should you use to target salmon? Well, there's so many colors and variation and sizes, but for me personally, I liked using this deep glazed orange bead from Clear Drift Tackle. And it comes with different sizes, but my go-to size was 12 mil and 14 mil. And another good option would be this orange cluster. That's what I got for my very first fish of the year. And you could also get a little um, 12 mil, 14 mil, uh, just orange with red dot. I think it's there called the salmon row. It worked very good. And this darker deep orange called BC orange, that's the color name. Uh, they worked really good. It's probably one of my favorite beads also for spring salmon. And if you're having a hard time deciding what beads to get for coho, I'm going to recommend just two beads, which is this Alouette Pearl 12 mil and 14 mil. And it also comes in a cluster version, which works very well. And this two beads is pretty much what I use for coho. And if you want to get real fancy, you could also get the blue beads. And surprisingly, I've caught springs and coho, and this could be a game changer for coho when nothing's working. So the blue bead, it also glows, so it's pretty good. I just have a whole lot of collections for beads, and they all work for schnook, coho, and chums. But uh, yeah, there's a few of my favorite, but if you wanna get more of these, and also the glazed uh, beads are working great as well for all type of salmon. All right, so that's pretty much the end of the video. And if you're interested in these beads, it's from my uh, Clear Drift Tackles. And if you use the code GOTOFISHING, you'll get 25% off, which is a pretty good deal. And I've been supporting my channel for pretty much a couple of years. So make sure you check them out. And I hope you guys have the rest of the great season and stay safe out there. And maybe cool videos are coming. I don't know if I catch one, but until next time.